The city has shut down an unpermitted gun range on Oahu's west side. As Eddie Dowd reports, the move is causing some residents to breathe a sigh of relief. Residents who live along Hakima Road here on Oahu's west side tell me the gunfire started in the middle of January and would happen on a Sunday in broad daylight. They say the gunshots came from this illegal shooting range behind me. It sounded like pop, 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 pop. We talked to these longtime Hakimo Road residents who live just across from the property. They say it started on January 14th. The shooting took place on this, the foothills of Pu'ohulu'uka. Right over here, they excavated the area to build a, um, a range. My son, he has ADHD and he was so unsettled. I had to end up giving him extra medicine. The concerns reached Honolulu City Council member Andrea Tapola, who forwarded the concerns to HPD. For the past three Sundays, they've been operating a shooting range from 11 to 4, and there are residents on both sides of this parcel, and frankly, they're concerned for their safety. On February 7th, the Department of Planning and Permitting issued a notice of violation to the landowner, stating he cannot have a gun range on land zoned for agriculture. Some feel the ongoing closure of the Cocoa Head gun range in East Honolulu led to the unpermitted range on the west side. People applying for a gun license complain they have limited options to get the required training. Our gun laws are so strict and they're making it so hard for us to get our CCW. Without a gun range to practice on and to get certified on, we can't do anything. I definitely think that people are trying to find safe places where they can get trained and instructed by someone who is licensed. But this is not the answer. Uh, no, the answer is not to violate the land use code. We asked the operator of the gun range why he started it, but he declined to comment. Now, even though the gunfire has stopped, residents I talked to today say they're still feeling traumatized and are definitely remaining on edge after this situation. Reporting on Oahu's west side, Eddie Dowd, Hawaii News Now.